Hey everyone, most people today are using their Claude account like they drive a Prius to the grocery store. I'm going to show you how to turn your Claude into a Ferrari using the most underrated app out there. I'm going to use the brand new Claude desktop app to show you how you go from a screenshot of a competitor's website to real feedback from your customers to building a email campaign, full HTML that you could send out immediately. This is going to be a game changer for your marketing efforts. Let's get to today's show. Hey everyone, on today's show, I'm going to show you how to use a under the radar AI app to transform all of the marketing copy you need to grow your business. So the first thing I want to do today is tell you about the app that I'm using a ton. So today we're going to use the Claude desktop app to help make our marketing copy much, much better. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to actually download and install the Claude desktop app. I want to show you what that looks like so that you know. You need to go to claude.com slash download and you will get a link to download Claude on either Mac or Windows. I'm a Mac user, so everything today I'm going to be talking about the Mac app and the Mac keyboard shortcuts, but there are similar parallels on Windows in case you're a Windows user. And then you get an instant video here of some of the cool demo features of Claude, but I'm going to show you those uh, so we don't we can we can skip that. So you want to go download the Claude app and sign in. So once you download the Claude app, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like the regular Claude window, but in its own desktop, and you're going to have a little icon down here. And there are a few things you're going to need to do. One of the things you need to do is basically allow permissions for for screenshots, for file sharing, and everything as part of the sign up process. Once you've done that, then you're off to the races. And one of the things I love about the Claude desktop app is it gets you a couple of really great shortcuts. The first of which is you can hold caps lock and it will turn into a dictation machine. Claude, can you write me a prompt to do competitive intelligence on HubSpot's customer agent product? And now you can see it dictates the text down there and I can go and submit that if I want. So super easy, very quick. No, no big deal, right? And it's just a way of bringing the Claude app into anywhere you are. You don't even need to be in the app, but if you just think of a question you wanna ask it, hit caps lock and then immediately dictate. So that's super easy. The thing I wanna to talk to you about today is one of the big evolutions in artificial intelligence is how easy it is to get context into the AI. And with the Claude desktop app, it's done some very cool things. One of the things here, is the screenshotting technology. So for example, HubSpot has this awesome product. It's called Breeze Customer Agent, and it helps businesses with their customer support inquiries using AI. And so we've got an awesome product page here. There's email copy we do, obviously all types of assets. There's also like a hundred other companies trying to do this same thing. And so you can use this exact same, steal this exact same process for your business. So one of those other companies is a company called Finn, Finn.ai, and they've got a whole host of, of different products here. And they've got an offering that helps your customers interact with their customer support via AI. So there's a few things that you can do here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click option that brings up that Claude app, then it allows me to drag and drop and take a screenshot. And so now I have a screenshot of how they're positioning. And then I would say, how would my customer, Growth Gabby, so we have a persona at HubSpot, we call her Growth Gabby. I have a Claude project with transcripts and from sales conversations and customer interviews that basically personify and give the AI details on who Growth Gabby is. You can either just create a document and upload it to do this. You can upload the call transcripts and stuff yourself into a project and have the same thing. There are a couple of different ways, but it's as simple as like, you could even just describe your ideal customer in a couple sentences. I don't have to do that description because I have a Claude project in the background. How would my customer Growth Gabby react to this web copy from Finn.ai in relation to HubSpot's customer agent. And so I enter that 
and it automatically takes that screenshot. And so what's great about the screenshot, it, you can do copy, you could do images, you can do everything. So it's like a real snapshot of a very specific question. I'm constantly online on websites, on social media, where I like, I have a question about that specific thing. And I have found the new Claude app to be a real hack in getting to an answer and an insight really quickly. And so what it, what it's doing here is that it is searching my Google drive for information about growth of Gabby in addition to the project that I have. And I could have, I should have probably told it that I had to use the Growth Gabby project. That was my failure. And so based on Growth Gabby's initial reactions, skeptical interest, but concerns about complexity. Okay, so basically what she's saying, how this compares to HubSpot's customer agent positioning, easy, fast, and unified. So, so now I can say, and I can do this with the caps lock in. Now that we know that Gabby would have concerns about complexity as it relates to Finn.ai. Could you help me develop an email marketing campaign about HubSpot's customer agent that leans into the ease of use versus the complexity concerns of Finn.ai? So it's very, very basic prompt. But you can see, like, if you're just working on a campaign, you're a marketer, you're grinding things out, you're just trying to get a better result than you had the time before. Again, I, I talk about this loop marketing framework all the time. This is part of the first step of the loop marketing framework. How do you express your ideas and get a really compelling story and narrative? And here you go. I, I've gone from a, a screenshot on a competitor's website, getting feedback on that, to now starting to create an entire campaign. And so what's happening is it's opening an artifact in Claude, which I love, and it's creating the full emails of this campaign. And so it's, it's creating this email campaign. It's very cool. All right, so it's created these plain text emails. What's really cool, I think I could do this. These emails are really cool. Could you actually build them as individual artifacts with HTML designed in the HubSpot brand style so that I could import them directly into the HubSpot product to send them out. And by the way, you can do all this with the free version of HubSpot. You can send email with the free version of HubSpot. So if you're out there, you're trying to think about a campaign, you wanna test it out, you can sign up for the free version of HubSpot and actually go and see if this is gonna work for you. Let's see if Claude can make this happen for us. So normally what I would do in, but we're on YouTube, this is sick time. I'd go through and I would edit all of those emails with Claude and I'd get to a final set of copy. And then once I had a final set of copy, I liked for each of those, I'd then have Claude go and build the code out. So what you'll see is that it's taking the email sequences we discussed, it's creating an email as separate HTML artifacts that we can put into HubSpot. Notice I just said in HubSpot style. If you want to do this really well, you will create a style guide and say, hey, I have a style guide that will consist of colors, fonts, uh, image use, all of those things so that the emails will be really good. I still suspect these emails are going to be pretty solid because Claude's smart, but you've got a really great baseline in that it went and found some of the brand colors, though we don't really use this navy too much. It's it's a little bit of an older color, which is why it helps to give it a style guide. But for the sake of what you can do, and especially if your business is earlier stage and you don't have a, much of a brand style guide, but you have a few colors and a little direction, you can give it that and it can go and build these out. Do you remember when learning Excel made you instantly more valuable at work? Claude AI is that moment all over again, but, but a lot bigger. And I mean, way bigger. While everyone is using Claude to write emails, the real opportunity are in its advanced features. Our new guide breaks down Claude's best features, shows you how to use them to work smarter and faster, featuring real strategies from real people who have used it and done it. The link is in the description below. Go check it out. It's gonna transform how you use Claude. Now let's get back to today's show. Okay. So as you see here, we have a first draft of an HTML email about a financial services campaign for our customer agent product. And again, like I said, 
I would have gone through back and forth and done some more advanced copy editing and everything. But if you really know your audience well and you have like a really targeted campaign idea and you feed that in, I found that you get a really good first shot um, with Claude. And what's awesome is that it's been able to make what I think is a pretty good looking email. It You can make a great email with some additional style guide recommendations. Here's the kicker now. Now I could go and take this HTML, copy it into HubSpot or wherever, whoever is sending my email, my email service provider, and just go and send the email that way. The other thing that's really awesome about the Claude desktop app is that it has advanced MCP setup, which means that you can use MCP servers to basically take these artifacts and put them directly into tools like HubSpot or really any email tool you would build an MCP connection with. So that is pretty remarkable in that it starts making Claude a real center of gravity for, I can do this campaign and ship it through the tools that I use to actually reach my customers. And so that's really powerful. So with the show today, what I've showed you is how to use anything that you might think is interesting, good, bad, or other from a competitor, actually inject that into Claude, get real feedback from your target audience, and then take that feedback and leverage it into a campaign. And as somebody who's done marketing for a couple of decades, those insights and reinforcing your core message against a competitor's weakness is really, really powerful and something that is always going to drive meaningful growth and results for your business. And if you found today's show helpful, this is all the type of stuff that we are suggesting you do as part of Loop Marketing, our new AI marketing playbook. You can go to loopmarketing.com. You can get the full rundown on how to better leverage AI in your marketing. And everything I told you today, this is part of the very first stage of that framework. So you're going to want to check out the other three. So I highly recommend if you haven't, and you use Claude, download the desktop app. It's available for all Claude users. So if you're a free user, it totally works for you as well. And I'd love to hear what you do with the app. And if you want us to do a more advanced show on the MCP integration, please drop a comment below. Love to hear if that's something of interest. And hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you real soon on Marketing Against the Grain. This data is wrong every freaking time. Have you heard of HubSpot? HubSpot is a CRM platform where everything is fully integrated. Whoa, I can see the client's whole history. Calls, support tickets, emails, and here's a task from three days ago I totally missed. HubSpot. Grow better.